changing the groove one. Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take this song that has this nice groove going on there. It's kind of, you know, the same kind of loop happening over and over again, but we have a, a different guitar part that happens at this point. And so what we want to do is we want to change up the drums. We're going to put a different loop in there, but we got kind of a shuffle feel in this song, and we're going to grab a, a kind of a straight feel loop and uh, kind of make it fit with this shuffle, as you can hear with this kind of a shuffle feel. So we kind of want to have a breakdown here. We don't want these drums to keep going and have some other loop in there. Okay, so what we want to do, we have our percussion track ready. And I'm going to go over here to my loops. I've already found which loop I want. Here's the, the loop. Here's it by itself. Okay, we're going to click on this little green guy here in Pro Tools. that will match it to the tempo of the, the current session we're in. So what's going to happen now is when I move it over here, it's going to actually change itself to match the tempo of the song. Okay, we're going to throw it in. into place here and there we go so you can hear how it's kind of straight where the the groove that we've got in the song is a kind of nice shuffle thing and you can see that right here that's where the shuffle really happens that guy right there and there's the the, the loop so we basically need all these to move over okay so the nice way to do this is is first we're going to turn elastic audio on, put it on rhythmic um, so it can analyze it. We're going to use that in just a second because we're going to quantize the audio and the way to do that is to use elastic audio which it analyzes each of these transients and it gives us a point to squeeze it around, push it around and move it. But what we want to do is we don't want to quantize to just any grid. We want to quantize to our original drum loop here. And so we're going to take this we're going to analyze it with Beat Detective. So we'll go to Event Beat Detective. And now we can analyze this, and it's already done a little bit. If we take the sensitivity down, you can see as we bring that up, we got it um, finding all of the main points here and here. Um, one of the big things is you got to make sure you have a, a good selection. Right now we have exactly, um, you know, four measures selected right here, and it starts exactly on the beat. So that's going to help us out. Because our loop, we're going to be quantizing it. It starts exactly on the beat, too. Okay, so we have these selected. We have them where we want. We could move things around. Right now, we're not going to go into detail with that. Everything's selected there. Go to Groove Template Extraction. Hit Extract. And now we say, let's save it to the, the clipboard. So it's kind of like saves. Just like you hit Command-C, copy, um, or pay, uh, copy or cut. It's saved to the clipboard. It's ready to be pasted. This is saving it to the clipboard. It's ready to be um, quantized to. So now we're going to get rid of Beat Detective, select our percussion loop, and this time we're gonna not going to go to Beat Detective again. We are going to go to Quantize. Okay, and now we're going to quantize to Elastic Audio Events, and we're going to our quantize grid. Instead of being, you know, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes. We're going to use our groove clipboard here, which is what we just saved from Beat Detective, which is basically this green track up here. So if we select groove clipboard, and I'll move this out of the way a little bit so you can see it. If we hit apply, and we're doing 95% of the way there, hit apply, you'll notice that it locks it into place. Like it's it's trying to lock it to that those purple lines we had just here. So now we listen to it. <laughs> And you can see how these have been moved over. To fit to that same groove. Okay. And the beautiful thing is, is now we can actually go in here and take out this. We'll just hit Command M to mute it. And now we've got our groove happening. And we drop out the drums and just have the loop and it's pretty cool there. Okay, so we come over here to the finish session and we're going to play from about the same spot. You're going to notice how the percussion loop will come in, the bass is dropped out, the bass will come in, then the drums will come in with that percussion loop. And what I've done here is put an EQ on the loop so that once the drums come back in, 
the the low frequencies kind of drop out of the loop so that they don't fight too much with the drums. So you will see how that happens. And there's the automation kind of drawn there. So here we go. Okay, here comes our bass back in. out there just the drums came in and now they're not fighting the low end. <laughs> 